Welcome to the latest installment of a series that we like to call That Leslie Sound. In this series, we're going to attempt to cover every Leslie pedal on the used in the new market. If you want to know more about what pedals are in the series, click on the card above to watch the series opener. And if you want to know what That Leslie Sound is, click on the card that will take you to a YouTube playlist that you'll hear many famous songs that use That Leslie Sound. Welcome to the series. <laughs> On today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we are going to look at the Microvent 16 from Neo Instruments, and the Beard is going to tell you about it. Yeah, so we've already done an episode on the Microvent 122, because there's two of these pedals. Um, the 122 is based off a Leslie with both a horn and a, ro and a bass rotor, so it's like a double mic Leslie. The 16 is based off of... The, uh, this is the Vibrotone by Fender. It was the Leslie 16. It's a single 10-inch speaker vertically mounted. There's no horn on it. It's one mic. So you don't hear kind of the spinning horn and the bass rotor with that. Um, so kind of the story of how we got the pedals and stuff. Check out the other episode. We'll put a link in the cards. Yeah. And from there, I think we're going to move on and get into the controls. So getting into the controls, we have the same knobs that we had on the Leslie 1 and 22. We have the speed, the distance, uh, ramp, and blend. Speed is anything that's continuous from slow all the way to fast. Uh, distance is far mic'd. And then as we go to the right, we get closer and closer, so we get more of a throb to it. Uh, the, the ramp knob is how fast it goes from the fast speed to the slow speed, or vice versa. How far, fast it ramps up or ramps down. Um, all the way to the left would be the fastest, and all the way to the right would be the slowest. And the blend knob is your dry signal. So all the way to the right is totally dry. All the way to the left is totally dry. All the way to the left is totally dry, and then as we go to the right, we add more Leslie into it. Which is ingenious, and if you go to uh, Neo's website and read about that a little bit, they're trying to capture that like David Gilmour SRV tone where they're using a Leslie and a... Um, like a regular amp with it. And so this is like the SRV kind of tone because he used one of those Leslie 16s. Um, as far, yeah, pretty confident about that. Yeah. <laughs> so I wasn't there. No, um, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is have Pat play just like we did in the other video. Same riff. So if you want to kind of A, B those two videos so you can hear what the difference is, you can do that. Uh, I'll start with the speed. And I'm, I'm not going to like, you know the slow the whole way up but we'll try and go all the way to the left somewhere in the middle and then all the way to the right so you can hear kind of the extremes like the extreme middle and extreme um on the distance one i might go all the way to the left all the way to the right and then back to the middle so you can hear the extremes next to each other i thought i should have did that last time mm -hmm. so uh, once we go through the three knobs, we'll do a little bit with the ramp setting. The one thing I didn't mention is the three-way toggle here. All the way up is your fast speed, and the middle is stopped, and at the bottom is slow. And so if I press this button and hold it for two seconds, which you saw Pat do in the beginning, it kicks us from this speed to the three-way toggle. So we'll leave it in the stopped mode for now, and uh, we'll play with the ramp and the extreme settings, and then you can figure anything in between that is possible. All right. All right. You ready to play? Sure. Thank you. 
Yeah. Sounds so good. <laughs> There's so many different spots where it sounded good, and then you turn something else, and it sounded more gooder. <laughs> right. So one of the things we decided as we were playing with the 122, there wasn't a bad setting on the pedal. No. And I'm kind of feeling the same way with this. I mean, so there's a lot of knobs. And one of the things we talked about kind of in between episodes is we pick this back up again. Um, you know, there's no knobs. Now, there are some internal, like, there's settings that you can change on it and program different things into it. Uh, but in the short time I plugged this one in, I was like, why would you do that? Right. <laughs> like, it just sounds good. And so these both, feel, I feel like there's just... This is not a bad sound. And there's other global or secondary settings that we're not going to take a super deep dive in. Right. Because they're so new that actually all that information is not even really available yet. Right. right. So um, we mentioned those in the other video. I mean, we can mention there's five different yeah. there's five different um, settings that you can get on the switch. So you can have it always on and use it with a loop switcher and use the switch on the pedal just to go between fast and slow. You can do it latching, non-latching. Um, there's five different settings you can do there. There's a zero to minus 3D decibel output setting. There's a true bypass or a buffered bypass setting in the global. And those are assigned to some of the knobs. But we're going to come back to a third episode just on that at some point here in the near future. Um, definitely before January 2020 when these come out. Yeah. So with that, I think we're going to play, play it out. Um, if you uh, would like to see more, want to see the global settings, more with the Neo pedals, or more of the Leslie series, please subscribe. Uh, like we keep saying, we've been blown away by what's happening with the subscriber count on the channel recently. Um, and we appreciate all the support we're getting from you for that. Please stop by Instagram, Facebook. We post some updates and things there, too, on what's happening with the channel. And I think with that... I am PJ, on behalf of The Beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear.